Set and camera. Action. Morning, boys. Blaze. So let's begin. I made this in a pottery class. Within the dynamic of all of our characters, it's like they, there is this trio with Corella, Jasper, and Horace. Morning. Oh, Estella is sort of thrust into this world of grifting with these two living the life of someone who steals to get by. Their parents aren't around and they're kind of thieves, basically. They're robbing stuff. They live in like an old wasteland bit of London. We were like a family. Horace, let's go. Two minutes is stopping time. Paul Walker, Hauser, Joel Fry play Horace and Jasper. Their chemistry together is so marvelous. Hey! No. No what? I'm not letting you in that window so you can try and crack the safe. That's not the angle. There is no angle. Working with Paul has been really easy, and he's just brilliant at improvising as well. He's kind of fearless. When you have someone like that in a scene, you never really know what's going to happen. And he can say something that doesn't even make sense, but he's not scared to do that. Come on, Wink. Why are you looking at me like a straight? Or is? To work on a Disney project has been a dream of mine, yeah. Really? Um, Take us back to the beginning. Yeah, the wind's start over. That's why like I literally wanted to see how long it would take for you guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He's a method actor. You know, he moved to a town in Brixton, right? This guy's, like, really committed. Oh, top of the morning to you, Missy. Got some fashion items that most fashionable. Thank you, kind and handsome delivery man. <laughs> the delightful thing with Paul, as an actor, he's so spontaneous, you never know what we're going to get. And I think it keeps everybody on their toes, and it keeps the scenes alive. I always found everything we were doing with him exciting. Oh, hey, uh, guys, what's going on? Is it still there? Kind of impressive. It was worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he created that accent. <laughs> Could you give me a hand? Play your voice. So that accent, I grew up watching Bob Hoskins and Hook. He's Peter Pan, all right. He's just been gone from Neverland so long, he's forgotten everything. And I just remember that as a kid. It's ingrained in my memory. So when I went to our uh, dialect coach, I did that line. He goes, oh, yeah, we're going to be fine. You get it. You get it. Just do Hoskins. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? It does explain a lot. Back to why we take the follow-up line. Joel Fry, who plays Jasper, is one of those guys who doesn't have to do that much to be really funny. That was a bit much last night. What? You think I fell into a kite? <laughs> the moment we started playing around, we kind of got a feel for what the chemistry could be. Hey, you want a date or something? Jasper is really the heart of the film, and he's sort of the touchstone for Corella throughout the movie where she's going too far astray and he'll call her on stuff. If I'm going to need to repeat myself a lot, this isn't going to work out. Why are you still talking like that? Griff's over. Joel, I actually think, is one of the most talented actors I've ever worked with. He's unbelievable. You can't kill her, Estella. Can't or shouldn't. No, look, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> You're cute when you are. I got to do a few scenes with Joel, you know, where we really get to look at each other and speak, and he's just so good. He's such a good actor. I know you're in pain. And I know she caused it, but killing her is not going to make that go away. I won't. He gave us such a beautiful performance there. He's like, he can carry the comedy, he can bounce off all the characters in the room and still keep it feeling grounded and heartfelt. It was beautiful to watch. Thanks for helping me. Well, I find it very difficult to say no to you sometimes. It's one of the things I love about you. Thanks. Jasper and Estella slash Cruella's relationship in the film, it's not romantic, but it's more intimate. I miss Estella. You know what I miss? The Jasper who had a sense of humour. That's tricky, because it's like there's two characters in one. Is it so hard to support me? No, not Estella. That's easy. But Cruella, yeah, it's a nightmare, to be honest. When Cruella arrives, it's like, you know, it's a different... It's literally a different person, so everyone knows what Cruella's like. She just starts to boss it and do what Cruella does. Wreaking havoc at galas is my personal specialty. Well, I don't know about that. She's a boss. As Estella starts to change, the friendship starts to change, and Horace and Jasper aren't sure if they like where the friendship is headed. It's like they're more employees rather than friends. Oh, how lovely of her to thank us for our work. Yeah, real gracious, wasn't she? She has her fair share of mood swings because she's so filled with passion and life that that's sometimes something that Jasper and Horace have a harder time understanding. Want a ride? Yeah, I've had enough of being treated like a dog, thank you. No offense, Wink. You fancy a fry up? Yeah, I'll fancy a fry up without her. Okay. And cut. All right, cut and reset. Falling on hard times and creating a family, a family is what you make of it. And it doesn't always mean your blood. You see why they need each other long term. I'm sorry, I didn't realize there'd be company. John, this is 
My family. If you grow up with someone, you're kind of like family, aren't you? They're like family. They'll be staying a while. Oh, yeah. You're at a grand base. I don't know what Cruella would be without Jasper and Horace. They're able to sort of balance out the parts of her that are relentless. You idiot! See, this was all a trick. It's never a Stella. It's Cruella. It's Cruella Deville. Oh, uh, it's spelled like devil, but it's pronounced Deville.